game two of our double header from the Storm Dome in America's Georgia on the campus of Georgia Southwestern. Live courtside, this is John Gross for UNCP men's basketball as they take on the Georgia Southwestern Hurricanes in what should be a really fun battle. A tough atmosphere, a large student section in attendance, and they've been rowdy from the end of the women's game through warm-ups. This should be a good one. History potentially on the line today. Braves senior, Akia Pruitt, a chance to break the Peach Belt Conference career rebounding record. He is just five rebounds away from 9-14, 9-13 is the previous record uh, for career rebounds in the Peach Belt Conference was set by Isaac Thomas of Georgia College who graduated just last season. But Pruitt, a prime opportunity to secure those five boards, set the record. And so in every game this season, he has grabbed at least six boards. So numbers wise, looking good, but there's still a game to be played. UNCP playing their best basketball of the season as of late. Winners of seven of their last eight. They've won three straight. On these last eight games, average margin of victory, 18 and a half points per game. So they haven't even been close battles, and they've done it against some of the best teams in the conference. Last game, take it down USC Aiken on the road. A late rally, a late run, putting them over the top. Before that, Augusta and then Lander prior to the Augusta matchup. So the top four teams in this conference, UNCP has defeated in the last week. Now the only question is, can they keep things rolling against the Georgia Southwestern squad that just three and six in the season, but they are seven and one here at home. The aptly named Storm Dome has been a difficult place for opponents to play this season as the Hurricanes at eight and seven overall this season look to pull off what would be a really monumental upset against one of the hottest teams in all of Division II college basketball. The Braves did receive votes in last week's coaches poll. And with a win against a very good USC Aiken team on Wednesday, and if they can pull off a win today, they'd expect them to hover even closer to the top 25, if not make it into the top 25. Tip off in just about you know, seven and a half minutes or so between these two squads as the Braves look to pick up their fourth win in a row. This is the 22nd all-time meeting on tap between these two programs. The Braves have won the last six, and just as the Braves have been dominant in their last eight games overall, their last six against Georgia Southwestern have been one-sided. An average margin of victory of 20 points in the last six meetings between these two sides with UNCP capturing all six of those games. The Braves will to keep things rolling against Georgia Southwestern. We will take a quick break here when we get back. Some more storylines about today's matchup and a little later on, we'll hear from head coach Tony Jones previewing today's game and talking about his team's recent success. So don't go anywhere. This is the UNCP men's basketball pregame show right here on the UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an 8, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. The town of Pembroke, incorporated in 1895, is a proud community rich in heritage. Pembroke is a quaint but growing town regarded as the social, political, cultural, and commercial center for the Lumbee tribe, the largest American Indian tribe east of the Mississippi River with over 58,000 members. The town hosts a variety of events during the year, none larger than Lumbee Homecoming, 
which annually brings in over 30,000 visitors. We welcome you to visit our unique town and encourage you to read and learn more about Pembroke. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an 8, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. Back here at the Storm Dome. It's under three minutes to go until starting lineups. National Anthem here at the Storm Dome. Between 13 and four UNCP, seven and two in Peach Belt Conference playing winners of its last three. Taking on a Georgia Southwestern squad that they've struggled in Peach Belt Conference playing three and six on the year eight and seven overall. But as we talked about before, seven and one here in the friendly confines of the Storm Dome, which is one of the most unique arenas I have ever been in. Not huge, but uh, certainly unique, certainly different. We expect a very good atmosphere today with a fairly large student section. It's been making some noise throughout warm-ups. Both teams out on the floor right now warming up. Braves will be rocking their gray uniforms. Georgia Southwestern, their white jerseys. As they get set for battle for the 22nd all-time meeting. Braves have won four straight here. They've found success in the series. They found success at the Storm Dome in the series as well. So it should be a fun battle. And again, the storyline that we're looking for today, Ikea Pruitt, a chance to move atop the Peach Belt Conference career rebounding leaderboard. Needs five boards to pass Isaac Thomas. Georgia College who wrapped up his collegiate career last season to move into first place of the Peach Belt Conference career rebounding leaderboard. And it's not only that for Pruitt, he's not a one-trick pony. He can do it all. He is uh, well within striking distance, less than 60 points away from scoring 1,500 points in his career. And last game against USC Aiken moved into third place all time at the Peach Belt Conference career block shots uh, leaderboard and he has a chance this season to move into second place so a whole lot of records being broken by Pruitt but main thing today for the Braves come out of here with a victory this is wrapping up a little bit of a road trip they took down USC Aiken last game on Wednesday a 9-1 run in the final goings of that one pushing the Braves over the top giving them the victory and today Making the long trip took us about seven hours or so to get down here to southwest Georgia, right near the Alabama border. And the two teams head over to their sideline. All right, so I had a chance to speak with UNCP interim head coach Tony Jones earlier in the week to preview his team's matchup against the Hurricanes today and to talk a little bit about his side's recent success winning the last three. This is Tony Jones earlier in the week. coming off of a win against USC Aiken in the last week 
you play the top team in the conference at USC and get and beat them. Lander and Augusta, they're third and fourth in the conference now and beat them. What have you learned about your team through this really difficult stretch? Just our will to win. Um, I mean, the guys are locked in whenever we play very good teams. And uh, we need to be the same way when we play, you know, teams that doesn't have a great record. But our guys have showed that they're uh, the maturity of just locking in whenever we have a great opponent in front of us. And I'm um, just focusing on them and taking care of business. Against USC, you got contributions from guys who have really been contributing throughout the season. But Spencer Levi had his best game of the season, first double-double of his career. What did you see from him on Wednesday? Spencer plays with uh, – Great urgency every time he's in the game. And uh, uh, against Aiken, he did a great job. I mean, he had things 15 and 11. Um, he's very efficient. His, his energy in the huddle was always great. He's the, he's the main one talking in the huddle. And um, just just seeing him having a great game was a lot of fun to watch. And uh, it definitely helped with the, getting a W against uh, Aiken. Season high in steals and block shots against USC. And I know talking to, to some of the coaches earlier in the season, we're necessarily thrilled with things in the defensive side of the ball, but how have you seen your team improve defensively as the season's gone on? Um, we can still improve, but it, it has been growing at each game. Um, I'm trying to string it all together. We're trying to string it all together. Have a full game with just playing great defense. Um, the first half of Aiken was a little of a struggle. Uh, we didn't take care of the ball, but um, defensively we did okay. And then down the stretch, when we needed stops, we got them. And I'm, I'm very proud of the guys. But there's definitely another level we can get to. Looking forward to this Georgia Southwestern game. Akia Pruitt, five rebounds away from setting the Peach Belt Conference record for career rebounds. What has he meant to this program? Uh, Akia has been a great player on the, on the court and off the court. He's a great kid. Um, his mentality uh, trickles down to everybody else, and it's definitely helped with the younger guys. And um, he's a great leader. He doesn't really say much, but he leads by example. And with him being five rebounds away, um, I'm excited to see him. He better get it this weekend, or I'm going to have some words for him. <laughs> So Georgia Southwestern, we're at 500 in the season, but they're tough to beat at home 7-1 and one on this season. What have you seen from them, and what potential uh, problems can they present to the players? Um, on defense, they, they like to trap a lot. They're very, uh, just like I said, how uh, Spencer plays with a sense of urgency. The whole team plays with a sense of urgency. They're tough kids. Um, I think Jamari Dean is like second in the league in rebounds, second or third or something like that. But um, they're a very tough team. Coach Combs is a, a great coach. I, I, I met him a few years ago, and he's got things rolling over there. Just like you said, uh, I think it's the, the, the Storm Dome. I think that's the name of it. Storm Dome. It's, it's, a, it's a tough place to play at, and um, I know that they like to um, you know take care of business at home. But uh, there's no easy win on the road and in the Peach Belt. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Best of luck this weekend. Appreciate it. All right, let's get this show on the road here. Starting lineups announced. Braves again to their gray uniform. Starting five for UNCP, Akia Pruitt, Tyrell Kirk, Jordan Ratliff, David Strother, and Carson Mounts. And the five for the home side, Jalen Cameron, Solomon Thomas, Kaitlin Whitley, Jamari Dean, and Abdul Dial. Jamari Dean, Statistically, one of the top players in the conference, six in the conference in points per game, and he leads the league in rebounds per game, averaging 17 and about 10. Braves gray uniforms, black letters and numbers with gold trim around the letters and numbers. Hurricanes, white jerseys with yellow letters and numbers, blue on the top of their uniforms in the center circle. It's the man we're watching today, Akia Pruitt, in his bright pink sneakers, five rebounds away from breaking the Peach Belt Conference career rebounding record. As he stands in the center circle, Braves will go right to left with it. Jamari Dean and Pruitt in the circle, ball tossed up, and it's secured by the Braves. UNCP basketball to get things started. Strother on the right wing, looking for Mounts inside, picks up his dribble. Outside to Pruitt, two dribbles to his left. Wheels around, turns and hands to Kirk. Double team just inside half court. Off to Pruitt, wide open, straight away three, rims out. And ball fought for underneath, it's into the hands of Ratliff who missed the lay-in. Mounts gets it, kicks it out to Kirk, three is up and in. Tyrell Kirk gets things started for the Braves to the triple. And UNCP will extend their pressure defense the length of the floor. The other way, corner three for Abdul Dial is good. Tied at three here. A minute into the ball game. Strother between the circles to Mounts. Leaves it to his right to Kirk. Jab steps right, finds Mounts in the roll. Mounts bodies his way to the basket and he is called for an offensive foul. That was Jalen Cameron who positioned himself well. Today's officials, James Parker, Alex Jordan. 
Petrie Geis. Three three with 19.09 to go here in the first half. Braves a one two two look defensively. Broken by the opponents in the way. Dial finger rolls it home to the left side. Five three. Georgia Southwestern in front. Defense, 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 defense. Ratliff, left wing inside to Pruitt. Left block finds Mounts. High post. Look to the basket. Off to Struther, right wing, falls for the ISO. Now brings Mounts up high to set a screen. Instead gives it to Mounts, short. Kirk curls off the screen, double team comes. Right corner for Struther, picks up a dribble, cross court feet, Pruitt attacking the basket, look out! Oh, and he's rejected as he tried to throw it down. It was the long arms of Jamari Dean who swatted it, and he finds a cutting Abdul Dial, who has all seven points. And early goings for the Hurricanes. Dial played at two D1 schools. He left high school, went to St. John's in New York. Then went Juco for a year. Found himself in South Alabama. And now, seven points in the first quarter, in the first half for Georgia Southwestern. Braves down four. Pruitt, bounce pass intercepted by Thomas in the right corner. Solomon Thomas wheels it out. Right wing, Kalen Whitley. He leaves it back for Thomas, then back to Whitley. Slow things down, finally, a chance for these two teams to catch their breaths. Thomas, bounce pass, trying to find a cutting. Solomon Thomas couldn't haul it in. And it's Struther, left wing three, off the mark. Offensive rebound for Pruitt, and he throws it down. There's one board for Kia Pruitt. Needs four to go to break that PBC record. Floated to the far side, Solomon Thomas. In the circle, off to Jalen Cameron, left wing. Cameron dribbles to his right, still dribbling, right of the lane, pulls it back, free throw line jumper, off to the right, and Pruitt has his second rebound. So now three away from the record as he outlets to Tyrell Kirk. Kirk transition, triple, left wing, nothing but net. Tyrell Kirk and the Braves lead it eight to seven. Just over three minutes in to this first half of action. Left wing, Cameron looks, high post, off the hands, and bouncing out of bounds from Jamari Dean, who seemingly wasn't ready for it. Braves up by one with the basketball, inbounding right in midcourt. Just in front of interim head coach, Tony Jones. Ball inbounded to David Struther, stands between the circles, dribbles to his right, kick out to Kirk in the right wing, inside to Pruitt, right block, double team comes, Pruitt goes left, too strong on the hook shot, but Mount secures the offensive rebound and hoists it up with arms draped on him. And Carson Mounts will shoot two. 8-7 Braves, 16-29 to go first half. Either side has made a substitution as Mounts toes the free throw line. 79% from the stripe of the season. And that hit every part of the basket and falls through. Scoreless against USC Aiken. 6-10, senior forward. Hits the second free throw, nothing but net. 10-7 Braves. As the ball inbounded to Kalen Whitley. Whitley with Jordan Ratliff marking him full court man to man. High post, Pruitt tightly guarding Jamari Dean. Dean hands off Whitley, splits right of the lane, double team. Pruitt might have gotten a piece of that layup attempt, and it's into the hands of Mounts, who outlets it to Pruitt. He's a forward, but he can ball handle, as it ends up now with Kirk, Tyrell Kirk, another three in the way, weak side rebound, tipped around into the hands of Carson Mounts, an open layup from the right side. Mounts in early four. Solomon Thomas bringing up the right sideline, attacking to our right, Tyrell Kirk on him. Off to Cameron, Cameron with space. Cameron eyes the basket, dribbles to his left, right of the lane, now between the circles. Probing for options, kick out to Abdul Dial. Has all seven points and Dial's pass intercepted. Here's Ratliff the other way, Ratliff with the left hand. Shot was adjusted by Dial, no whistle. And it's out of bounds as the ball pinballed around. And it'll be Braves basketball under the attacking basket. After this media timeout, 15-34 to go. Braves up 17 of 12 to seven here in the early goings. This is UNCP basketball right here on the UNCP Sports Network.
We're pleased to offer live stats and screens. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an 8, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. Back here at the Storm Dome, Braves a 12-7 lead. 15-34 to go in the first half. John Gross, court side, as UNCP will be inbounding it. Tyrell Kirk will trigger it in. Starting lineup still in there for the Braves as Kirk looks around for options and floats it back to David Struther. Heels just inside the midcourt line. Standing at the logo, Struther dribbles to his right, whips it around to Kirk. Kirk bounce pass high post, mounts. Quick feed out to Struther, left wing, goes to Pruitt, short corner left side. Pruitt spins around, backs up, goes to work, finds Mounts, right elbow jumper off to the right. Kirk, an offensive rebound, has his lane attempt too strong. Weak side board brought down and outletted down the floor to Whitley, who's feeding ahead, trying to find a cutting Dean, was tipped away like a cornerback by Akia Pruitt. Abdul Dial checks out, and Josh Press will replace him. Devin Higgs also in the ball game for GSW. Left corner, Thomas weaving through the defense as he pulls it out. Up top, Tom Press around the perimeter. Higgs looking for options, goes high post to Dean. Back out to Solomon Thomas. 16 points per game for Thomas, who tries to split a double team and lost it off his foot. Here's Ratliff the other way, Ratliff penetration, finger roll, falls out. Kirk, the stick back, lays it in. 14-7 Braves, 14-35 to go in this first half. Higgs given plenty of room on the left wing, gets the ball back, eyes up the basket, lets it go over Carson Mounts, off back rim, and Pruin has his third rebound. He's one away from tying the record. Mounts, right block, gets the bounce pass. Hook shot and up and in. What a start for Carson Mounts, who has six points. And UNCP, the largest lead of the game. 16 to seven. Pruitt switches onto Whitley. Looking inside, Dean has the post up. Help comes, kick out, Whitley, dribble drive, kick out left wing once again. Now worked up top, Thomas steps back, crosses over Kirk, Kirk on him tightly. Seven to shoot, out onto five, floated to Dean on the right block. Dean tough, turn around, up, and off back rim. Rebound for Tyrell Kirk. Kirk, inside out dribble on the right side, spins around using the mount screen. Bounce pass inside to Pruitt. Give and go back to Kirk, finger roll, falls out, and the rebound tipped out to Kalen Whitley. Whitley spins at midcourt. Whitley kick out, right corner three, in transition, is good. Solomon Thomas buries the triple, and Georgia Southwestern into double figures, 16 to 10. Braves still leading, 13-15 remains here in the first half. Zone look now, 3-2. As Ratliff receives it right corner, pass deflected right back into his hands. Up top, Struther pulls the trigger, straight away, three, back rim and out. Kurt Pruitt has tied the record. He secures an offensive rebound, and Akia Pruitt has tied Isaac Thomas with 913 rebounds. Atop the Peach Belt Conference career rebounding list. The whistle is blown, it'll be turned over. And they call Ratliff for a personal. Inbounded to Whitley. Whitley with Kinsey on him. Whitley, switch it, gets the switch. Pruitt guarding tightly and Whitley chucks it away.
Ames with the basketball up 16 to 10, 12.45 remaining. As Struther looking for options, goes cross court to Kinsey. Short block, Levi who just checked in, battles inside, kick out to Bullard, a rare two point attempt for Jabry is tipped around, tipped back out to Bullen as he clanked it off the back rim. Inside Struther, stripped to the basketball, and a foul called underneath the hoop. That goes against Jalen Cameron, the 6'3", lanky guard. As Akia Pruitt will check out for Sean Kirk. Pruitt again, he has tied the Peach Belt's career rebounding record. Currently sits at 913, level with Solomon Thomas. The inbounds feed from Kinsey under the basket, tipped into the hands of Jaybury Buller. Braves up six, 12-20 remaining. Struther uses the Levi screen to his right. Finds Levi left block, and he throws it down. A little over-aggressive defense by Jalen Cameron, left Levi unguarded. Coming off of his first career double-double in the win against USC Aiken. 12.05 remaining, first half, eight point edge for the Braves. Cameron right corner, Levi on him. Whitley tries to blow past Kinsey. Set the screen, Braves switch. They do that quite a bit. Cameron, left wing three, front iron out. And Kinsey tipped it out to the wrong team. Press, thought about a three, shot fake. Penetrates, kick out left corner, wide open. Whitley too strong and Sean Kirk is there for the uncontested weak side board. Struther leaves it back to Kirk in transition. Back to Struther, right wing, hoists it and hits it. David Struther. His first points of the game. Now one of three from the field. All three of his attempts have been from deep. Braves up 21 to 10. 11.20 to go in the ball game. They've won their last three as Dean receives it. Left elbow extended. Pruitt, pardon me, Levi swatted Dean as Kirk slid underneath Dean and Kirk has called for a personal on the body. And that will bring us to our second media timeout here. 11-17 remaining in the first half of play. 21-10, UNC Pembroke. Strong start here out of the gates. This is Braves Basketball Live from the Storm Dome. We'll be back in a second. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. The town of Pembroke, incorporated in 1895, is a proud community rich in heritage. Pembroke is a quaint but growing town regarded as the social, political, cultural, and commercial center for the Lumbee tribe, the largest American Indian tribe east of the Mississippi River with over 58,000 members. The town hosts a variety of events during the year, none larger than Lumbee Homecoming, which annually brings in over 30,000 visitors. We welcome you to visit our unique town and encourage you to read and learn more about Pembroke. Out of the immediate timeout, Braves, a 21 to 10 edge over Georgia Southwestern. Jamari Dean will shoot a pair of free throws. Looking to get on the scoreboard, and he clanks the first one off to the right. Dean six in the conference in points per game, 70% free throw shooter. He struggled against Young Harris. That snapped a game of 13 straight, of 14 straight games with at least 13 points as he hits home the second. Braves up by 10, 21 to 11, 11, 12 to go, clock rolling here in the first half. Kinsey calls out the offense, bounce pass to Levi, left elbow, kicks it out Struther, top of the key, with Cameron on him. He worked around the arc. Bullard tries to go baseline, is stopped and turned away as he kicks it back out to Kirk. Back to Bullard, right corner three, rims in. Jay Bree Bullard, three point marksman, giving the Braves a three, 13 point edge. Cameron, right wing, attacking to our right with Levi marking him. And he is checked by Levi. As he 
worked free throw line extended into the lane. Jordan Ratliff will check in for David Struther. Got the third team foul in the Braves in the first half, the first personal. And Spencer Leva. Inbound in to Dean, short right corner. Kirk got him. Similar body types, lanky guys as Dean hits the leaner. Leaning back off balance, tough shot for Jamari Dean. That's his first made field goal. Kinsey bounce pass to Kirk. Righty finish on the flush with a right hand and the right block. Everything looking all right there for Sean Kirk. 26-13, Braves doubling up. GSW here about midway through the first half. Cameron, bounce pass for Dean, trickles away, and it's turned over. And in returns Abdul Dial. Dial checks in as Josh Press will head to the sideline. Kinsey splits through the defense, bounce pass inside, shoveled by Kirk to Levi in the right block, and he lays it in. Great feed by Sean Kirk, and that's how you beat a zone defense like that, quick passes. 28-13. Dial picks up his dribble. Just inside half court on the right sideline. And Kirk, aggressive defense as he slaps it out of bounds just in front of the Braves sideline. Dial will inbound it. Dial finds right corner three for Dean. Rims out. And on the weak side, a whistle. Bullard holds for a loose ball foul. Make that 14 fouls in the Braves. The first personal on Jabri. Braves up 15. Thomas inbounds from under the own, his own basket. Gets the handoff as he finds Dean. Pulls up from the free throw line in Kansas. Solomon Thomas knocks down the two. 13 point lead for the Braves. Levi double team, short corner left side. And a blocking foul called on Jamari Dean. Aaron Coombs in his first season as the head coach here. Not too happy about that call. He's wearing Yeezys on the sideline. Oh, have to respect it. Loving the look by Coach Coombs. Kenzie will inbound it. Looking for options to Levi. Stuck into the basket. Kicks out Kirk. Right wing three. Bang! Sean Kirk hits the triple on the Braves. Lighting it up from beyond the arc. Fifth made three, five of nine from distance for UNCP. They lead it by 16, 9.05 to go in the first half. Harassing defense by Buller, but spun away from by Higgs, who kicks it out right corner three, off iron, tipped around into the hands of Kinsey. Maneuvers his way out of a difficult situation. Defense was all over him. Splits double again, Kinsey all the way, pinned off the backboard by Higgs, but it's recovered by Levi. Kinsey gets a kick out right corner, but Ratliff called for an offensive foul as he left his feet on the kickout feed to Micah Kinsey. Fifth team foul as Tyrell Kirk comes in for Jordan Ratliff. That's his first personal. Braves up by 16. 8.44 to go in the first half of play. Mounted to Whitley. Against this 2-3 zone defense for the Braves. Thomas finds Dean, right corner, just inside the three-point line. Bounce pass to Higgs, goes to work on Levi, ends up on the left side, and he kisses it off the backboard. 31-17 after the lay-in by Devin Higgs, who was called for a blatant shove on Spencer Levi, as those two were jockeying for positioning on the right block. Higgs his first personal, make that 14 fouls on GSW. As Jamari Dean comes out, Josh Press returns to the floor. Kirk finds his brother Sean in the right corner. Faces the basket, shot fake, now backs his way in, kicks out Levi right wing. Levi spins, picks it up, works his way out to Tyrell Kirk. Back to Levi, right block, good cross court feed to Buller. Shot fake, dribbles outside, kick out to Kirk, back to Buller, left wing three, high archer. Front rim, backboard, and out. And the rebound secured by Devin Higgs. Outletted to Abdul Dial. Had seven points. First seven points of the game for GSW has not scored since. Braves up 14 just under eight minutes to go. 7.50, clock rolling in the opening half of action. Kinsey, like glue on Whitley. Nowhere to go as he 
feeds Dial. Dial looks to go to work on Kirk. Kick out to Whitley with separation. Off the front rim and Kirk has the board. Outlets to his brother Tyrell. Tyrell sidesteps his way into the three-point line. Over to Levi. Levi inside to Sean Kirk. Hook shot and the finish. Sean Kirk can score in a multitude of ways. And Georgia Southwestern is finding that out the hard way. He's hit a three, a hook shot, and an emphatic finish. Braves up 16, just over seven minutes to go. As Carson mounts and Akia Pruitt head to the scores table. Pruitt a rebound away from setting the Peach Belt career rebounding record. He's currently tied at 913 with Isaac Thomas. Right wing three for Pratt's off to the right. And Levi lost it underneath the basket. As he was clipped on his way back to the floor. And it's out of bounds on Spencer Levi. That brings us to the under eight media timeout. 33-17 Braves, 6.51 to go here in the first half. And history possibly can be made in just a few minutes. Akia Pruitt a rebound away from setting the record. So don't go anywhere, we'll be back shortly. This is Braves Basketball on the UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. When you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer, Drop a big bow box on it. Whether you need an eight, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, at least they'll gnash their teeth on something delicious. It's bow time. Thirty-three seventeen. Braves in front of Georgia Southwestern. It'll be Hurricanes basketball as they inbound to Press, who taps it in, alley oop like off the inbounds. And he finishes off the glass, 33-19, after the lay-in from Josh Press. 6.45 to go in the first half of action. Akia Pruitt on the floor. A chance to break the Peach Belt career rebounding record as Kinsey steps back. Ball tipped underneath as he missed it off the back rim, and it's back out to Kinsey. Kinsey resets the O, lifts his right fist, calls out the play. Gets the switch, high pulse to Mounts. Mounts turns and looks. Mounts backing down Dean. Dean, and Mounts hooks it, put back from Pruitt, and there it is. For the 914th time in his story in UNCP career, Akia Pruitt has secured the ball off of a missed shot and now sits all alone. It's up the Peach Belt Conference career rebounds leaderboard. Another way, Jamari Dean lays it in, but 914 to Akia. Congratulations as his storybook career continues here in Pembroke. Mounts lost it on the right block. Braves up by 14 as Thomas hesitates, drives inside, kicks out to Whitley. Worked around the arc to press. Hesitation, baseline drive, intercepted in the kick out by Kinsey. One on one, Kinsey, step over, lay in. Too easy for Micah. And the Braves lead it back by 16. Pruitt playing with a smile on his face, whether he realizes it or not. He now holds the Peach Belt career rebounding record, 914, and it was on a put back lay -in. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Thomas goes to work, right of the lane, lay in, falls short, tried the put back, lost the handle of it. Into the hands of Tyrell Kirk, who sprints across, and Thomas diving from behind. Knock Kirk over, and in doing so, jarred the ball loose. It's a foul on Thomas. Fifth team foul, that's his first personal. Josh Press out for GSW. Micah Kinsey out, David Struther checks in. And Struther feeds Tyrell Kirk on the left wing. Kirk working to her left, inside to Pruitt, Pruitt. Strong hands, fights for the ball, fouled on his way up. And Akia Pruitt, shortly after breaking the Peach Bell Conference rebounding record, will head to the strength. 
has done so much in his career at UNCP as he hits the first free throw. Braves up 38-21, 4.53 to go as Buller checks in, or comes out for Jordan Ratliff. PBC Tournament MVP, first team all-conference, second team all-conference, defensive player of the year in the conference, preseason all-conference this year. And he's putting together another incredible season. Third most blocks in conference history, now the most rebounds in conference history, and more than likely will move into the elusive and exclusive 1500 point club for UNC Pembroke men's basketball. Missed on the second, Braves up 17 as Whitley threads it inside for Dean. Good defense by Struther as he kind of came around from behind, got Dean a little bit off balance and it clips off the leg of Dean. It'll be Braves basketball working right to left. Strother calls out the offense, brings it across, Braves a 17-point lead. Look at a win, their fourth straight game as Strother gets separation, a little push off, and the right wing jumper falls through, but he is called on the arm bar extension. Can't do that. Um, and that is his first personal, six team foul. Braves, one, two, two defense, extending it the length of the floor, Pruitt spearheading it up front. Thomas weaves his way through, tried to flip one up by the basket. Mount's got a piece of it, but a foul is called. We'll see who this one's called against. And it's David Struther who got him underneath on his way to the rack. So Thomas will shoot two. They'll say it was in the act of shooting. With 4.05 to go, UNCP a comfortable 38 to 21 advantage. Just keeping things rolling. As Thomas points up the first and clanks it off the back rim. 4.05 to go in the first half. Second free throw up for Thomas, missed them both. 76% from the stripe, he doesn't miss both free throws very often, but the Braves will take it up by 17 as Kirk uses the Pruitt screen. High post, left elbow, mounts, looking for options, ball above his head, backdoor feed to Ratliff, great pass. And Ratliff lost it on his way up. Looked like he was stripped. But the officials will say that it was off Ratliff. Three forty-eight to go, it'll be Georgia Southwestern basketball. Braves up by 17 in the Storm Dome in America's Georgia. This is UNCP Men's Hoops. On UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. Do us a fuckball! The long history of heartache continues. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an eight, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now, when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. Out of the meeting timeout, Braves, a 38-21 lead over Georgia Southwestern on the road, looking to pick up their second straight road win. Bounce pass, right side to Higgs. Higgs with Kirk all over him, has to pull it back out to Whitley. Whitley gets the switch, Pruitt on him. The guard blows by Pruitt, wheeling outside and trying to one hand whip it out to the right corner. And the errant feed comes off the hands of Rayshon Dotson, who's checking in for the first time today. Another GSW turnover. Bullard, right wing. Attacks, kick out up top to Pruitt. Jab step for Pruitt, bounce pass, hook shot. Just outside the restricted area for Carson Mounts, who continues his offensive success today. Eight points for the big man. 
and Braves up 19 points. Thomas lost it for a second. Out to Whitley, left wing. Whitley gives it to Dotson. Dotson turns and hands to Dean. Penetration, left of the lane, and he's fouled by Carson Mounts. So Jamari Dean will shoot two with his hurricane sign, trailing by 19 points. That's the second personal on Mounts. Eighth team foul the Braves, so GSW the bonus as Mounts will check in, check out Spencer Levi will replace him. Dotson stays in, thought he was coming off the floor, and made its way over to the sideline, but instead it's Kalen Whitley who has been summoned to head to the sideline. Second free throw up and nothing but net. 40 to 23, 253 remaining here in the first half. Tyrell Kirk using the Pruitt screen to his right. Kirk has he kick out Bullard. Right wing, shot fake, space long, two in and out. Pruitt has the offensive rebound, adding to his record total and the put back lane unsuccessful, but he's fouled on his way up and he will shoot two. Braves are up by 17. Pruitt looking to add to that. Rayshon Dotson calls for the personal. And the Braves now with the bonus, 17 fouls. The first free throw, Pruitt leaves it short. Five points for Akia. Now six rebounds. And the second free throw is good. Braves up 18. They go full court man-to-man, -man, switching things up defensively. A quick switch just across the timeline as Ratliff now checking the shifty and speedy Solomon Thomas. Feeds it out to Dial on the right wing. Dial dribbles to his left. Free throw line extended out to Thomas, left wing. Thomas works around the arc. Leaves it back for Higgs. Higgs switches off the screen. Prove it on Higgs. Whipped inside at a bounce pass. Head fake, lay in, and the foul. Jamari Dean starting to get things going. And we're seeing why he's one of the top scorers of the conference. Shoots the ball, a 57% clip from the fields. He can stroke it from distance too, 40% from beyond the arc, but super consistent inside, long, creative, physical as he hits the foul shot. Cuts into this brave sleep. 15 point edge for UNCP. Looking to win its fourth straight game, which would match its longest win streak of the season. Braves working off the zone defense. Ratliff finds Bullard left corner. Sharp shooter, shoot it, knock it down against the zone. That's how you beat a zone. Jay Bree Bullard in rhythm. His second made three of the game as Thomas looks to respond and does. A left wing triple over the hands of Spencer Levi. 15 point lead for the Braves. Kirk directs the offense, Tyrell Kirk that is. Cross court to Ratliff, back to Kirk near wing. No look feed inside, Ratliff, Levi touch pass to Pruitt who has fouled at his dunk attempt, he will shoot two. Good passing by the Braves. Making it very difficult for the Hurricanes to get stops in the zone defense. But then if they go to a man, the Braves have just been able to take him one on one as Pruitt Led to the strike for his third and fourth free throws of this first half. A minute 26 to go. Braves now up 16 after Pruitt rattles home the first. Points the second up. And swishes it. Whitley in as Dotson heads to the bench. On the far sideline, Dial races ahead, kick out right wing. Dean thought about it. Instead, gives it back out to Dial. Shot fake gets Levi to leap, and he lays it in around Pruitt. Able to maneuver himself around Pruitt midair. Braves up 15. Kirk inside out dribble. Left elbow jumper. That's his spot, and he will rarely miss from there. 48 31 after Tyrell and Kirk sinks the mid range J. The other way, Pruitt nearly got a piece of the lay-in from Devin Higgs who falls to the floor but still converts. Up ahead it's Kirk, calls out the offense. Kirk uses the Levi screen to his right, up top Pruitt. Eyes the basket, lets it go, straight away three, unsuccessful, tipped around and 
Loose ball foul called on Tyrell Kirk. Not a result in a one and one. With 41.4 seconds to go in the first half, Braves up by 15. Georgia Southwestern, not out of this one just yet. Braves have played very well, but they've done some nice things offensively. They're shooting the ball well, hovering about 50% for most of this game. And this guy right here, Abdul Dial, has been pacing the attack. At least in the early goings, he was. As he misses the free throw. Point away from matching Jamari Dean with 10 points for the game high. As he sinks the second. So 10 for Dean, 10 for Dial for GSW. Tyrell Kirk has 10. Five Braves at least six points. UNCP up 14. 10 second difference shot in game clock. Look at counter this press. Pruitt floats it near sideline to Tyrell Kirk. Kirk out to Bullard left wing. Bullard eyes up to defense. Pulls it out. Braves go for a cross offense. Bullard works to his right. Double team comes. Taken away by Higgs. Higgs, as the defense is able to get back and recover, turns and hands it off to Whitley. They can hold for one final shot. 13 seconds to go. Now down to 10. Braves up 14. Eight seconds to go. Whitley, left side of the floor. Bullard on him. Calls for the Higgs screen. Uses it. Goes left. Blows past Levi. Whitley, with the clock expiring, blocked by Levi. And that'll take us to the halftime break. Braves up 48 to 34 over Georgia Southwestern. Akia Pruitt breaking the Peach Belt Conference career rebounding record. Has six boards in the first half. He only needed five to do it. So now he is just adding to his own record. Congratulations to Akia. The Braves look to keep things rolling in the second half. 48 to 34. We'll be back in just a few for a halftime report, some stats and storylines. Take a look at some scores around the league as well. This is Braves Basketball and UNCP Sports Network. The town of Pembroke, incorporated in 1895, is a proud community rich in heritage. Pembroke is a quaint but growing town regarded as the social, political, cultural, and commercial center for the Lumbee tribe the largest American Indian tribe east of the Mississippi River with over 58,000 members. The town hosts a variety of events during the year, none larger than Lumbee Homecoming, which annually brings in over 30,000 visitors. We welcome you to visit our unique town and encourage you to read and learn more about Pembroke. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an eight, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. Thank you. 
When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an 8, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. The town of Pembroke, incorporated in 1895, is a proud community rich in heritage. Pembroke is a quaint but growing town regarded as the social, political, cultural, and commercial center for the Lumbee tribe, the largest American Indian tribe east of the Mississippi River with over 58,000 members. The town hosts a variety of events during the year, none larger than Lumbee Homecoming, which annually brings in over 30,000 visitors. We welcome you to visit our unique town and encourage you to read and learn more about Pembroke. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, 
to deliver you closer care that's better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an 8, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an 8, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an 8, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. Forty-eight thirty-five. The score here at halftime between UNC Pembroke and Georgia Southwestern. The Braves, a fourteen-point lead. Both teams back out on the floor, getting set for the second half of action. A whole lot went down in that first half. Most notably, a Cam Pruitt breaking and now extending his record atop the Peach Belt Conference career rebounding leaderboard. Has six boards in the first half. Did it five? to break Isaac Thomas' record. Thomas graduated from Georgia College last year. So congratulations to Akia. And in addition to that, saw some really good three-point shooting from UNCP. First half of play, as they went six of 12 from beyond the arc to Georgia Southwestern's three of 10. Two and a half minutes to go until we get things started. Second half, Georgia Southwestern hasn't played all too great necessarily, especially in the defensive end. And putting up 34 points against UNC Pembroke, not all too bad. The Braves do a really good job playing defense, uh, and obviously a great job scoring. When you look at their scoring defense, they holding their opponents just 72 points per game in conference play, which is the best in the Peach Belt Conference. The Braves are scoring 88 points per game in conference play, which is fourth. You don't see many teams that are that good at scoring and stopping you from scoring. So Georgia Southwestern, 34 points, maybe not the issue. 48 points, that's where we're gonna run into some problems. It's a Braves team that, they have, they have pieces that can do a little bit of everything. And Georgia Southwestern saw that in the first half of play. 
Taking a look at some scores around the Peach Belt Conference. Georgia College up by seven against Augusta. Bit of a surprise there. Flagler all over Francis Marion. The Braves will take on the Patriots and Francis Marion on Wednesday. 57-29 the score in that one. And how about this? Lander up by 15 over USC Aiken at the half. Right here, the Braves, a 14-point lead. A minute to go until we get things started. In the second half of action, UNCP looking to win its fourth straight game match and season-long winning streak. As they look to put away the Hurricanes of Georgia Southwestern here at the Storm Dome. We'll be back in a minute with the second half. This is Braves Basketball on the UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an eight, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now, when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, Start of the second half, it's Braves basketball attacking left to right. David Struther has the basketball, takes it out to Tyrell Kirk in the left wing. Kirk tried to give it back to Struther, and the ball was tossed away. So Georgia Southwestern forcing a turnover on the Braves' first possession. Dial right wing, off to the far corner. Cameron probing around. Georgia Southwestern going to our left. Dial, Cameron, right corner. Ball above his head, bounce giving him plenty of room to shoot, doesn't take it. Off to Thomas, now up top to Cameron. Cameron left in the lane, spins on Pruitt. He wasn't even looking at the basket, unless he's able to hook it home. 48-36 the score, 12 point lead for the Braves. Struther, double team off the pick. Kick out to Kirk, he was open, now takes it. With a hand in his face, buries the triple. Tyrell Kirk. Braves now 7 of 13 from distance. And there was nobody to inbound the ball to Whitley, so we have to take it himself. Not happy. Man to man full court pressure for the Braves. Dial with Struther marking him. Off to Thomas. Played by Kirk. Just inside half court. Between the circles. Jamari Dean. Dribbles to his left. Kick out. Dial. Shot fake. Penetrates. Baseline. Off to the right of the rim. Pruitt snatches the rebound. Struther races ahead, picks up his dribble right elbow. Feeds Ratliff in the right corner, but a three second violation goes against Carson Mouse. Terrell Kirk, a team high 13 points, also a game high. Perfect three of three from beyond the arc after that last main triple. Whitley forced to his left hand by Ratliff, picks it up. The near corner, Cameron, going to her left. Jalen Cameron picks up his dribble just inside the three-point line, left wing. Now right elbow, Dean goes to work on Pruitt. High archer off the glass is through. 12 points for Dean. Braves count the other way to Mounts. Left block, hook shot. Carson Mounts, another bucket, and he's in double digits. Fifth game of the season, he scored in double figures. As Mounts gets driven on by Cameron, but his layup attempt is short. Born by Akia Pruitt. Tyrell Kirk, they double team off the screen inside Pruitt, through the contact, missed the lay-in, no whistle. And bounces off the hands of Mounts and Ratliff, both went for the basketball. And it's GSW ball. Braves up 53 to 38, 17-35 remaining in the ball game. Whitley across the timeline. Feeds Dean left wing, goes to work on Pruitt. Jamari Dean off glass, 
rims out, but he's fouled. You don't see many players willingly go out of Kia Pruitt. This is a former conference defensive player of the year. The third most blocks in conference history. But Jamari Dean is confident, and Georgia Southwestern knows if they're going to come back in this one. It'll be on the coattails of Jamari Dean, who sinks the first free throw. That's just the first personal on Pruitt. As the Braves lead it by 14 with 17.21 to go. Dean, second free throw, falls off. Pruitt the board, outlets it to Tyrell Kirk. Kirk, out to Ratliff, left wing, triple, release, nails it. Jordan Ratliff knocks down the three. His first points of the game, shockingly, for the Braves leading scorer. UNCP Braves lead it by 17, under 17 minutes to go. Spinning through the lane, left side, Thomas rolls out. And the ball tipped underneath the basket as Dean able to play it off his Struthers' hands. And with 20 seconds on the shot clock, or what should be 20 seconds to the shot clock, it'll be Georgia Southwestern basketball. The ball hit the rim. Shot clock still says 14 seconds. Thomas kicks it out to Dial. Dial works off the screen, gets the switch. Pruitt on Dial. Dial floats inside. Over the head of Struther, who is front to him. Whipped inside to the right block. Layup falls out. Tip in by Dial. Second time, third time, no. And Ratliff has the board. Pushing it the other way. Off to Kirk. Touch pass back to Ratliff. In transition, Ratliff back to back trades. And UNCP up by 20. Tyrell Kirk, his first assist of the ball game. Comes on a great feed as Thomas pulls the trigger straight away over the hands of Akia Pruitt. Braves still a 17 point edge. As Struther comes across midcourt, 1 3 1 defense. My Georgia Southwest, we saw the Hurricanes women's squad do this against the Lady Braves, and it worked well. Ratliff, left corner three. Off the rim, tipped around by Kirk, into the hands of Ratliff, up and under. Oh, he put some English on that one. Elevated from the left side, ended up on the right side as he rolls it off the backboard and through. 19 point lead for UNCP as Higgs leaves it short for Thomas. Right side, up to Higgs. The lefty going to his favorite side. Thomas chases behind him, left wing up to the near corner for Higgs, pressured by R Pruitt, giving him no room to breathe. And Ratliff got caught underneath the arms of Abdul Dial. This calls the second personal. Second team foul, the second half. First media timeout in the second half. Braves, a 61 to 42 lead, 15-21 to go in the ball game. This is UNC Pembroke basketball right here on the UNC Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an 8, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. To go in the second half, Braves a 61 to 42 lead as Solomon Thomas will trigger it in for under the attacking basket. Finds Dean back to Thomas, wheeling through the lane. Finger rolls it home off the glass from the right side. He is a nifty scorer at the guard position. As Struthers sprints across midcourt, picks up a dribble in the right wing. Up 
top to Sean Kirk, finds his brother Tyrell, cutting to the basket, Tyrell left wing now. Up top to Mounts, dribbles, right of the lane, the runner from Mounts, off front iron, rebounded by Jamari Dean. Floated the head, great outlet, laid in by Jalen Cameron. Off of a perfect Jaylen. feed by Jamari Dean. Just like that, it's a 15 point ball game. A little bit of a run. Struther uses the mount screen to his left. And it's a moving screen called and Carson mounts. And Tony Jones is furious and slaps the chair. That's the third on mounts. Now Tony Jones has to keep that in mind as Connor Keltner whisks over Spencer Levi to the scorer's table. Respect mounts to come out of the next whistle. Braves up 15. 14 25 to go. Mackie Kinsey now in the ballgame. David Struther getting a breather. Cameron, right wing, pulls the trigger. Front rim, backboard, and out. Mounts gave him plenty of space, and I think they'll keep daring him to shoot. Kirk, hesitation, kick out, right corner. Kinsey thought about a three, instead whips it inside to Kirk. Right block, tough turnaround. Sean Kirk knocking it down from about eight feet out. The Braves lead it by 17. 13.55 to go with 63.46. Thomas weaving through the lane, splits a double mid-air. And hooks it off the glass and in. Kinsey looks to respond. Kick out Tyrell Kirk. Up top to Mounts. Bounce pass, Sean Kirk. Right block, turn around, hook is in. They can't stop him. Sean Kirk has not missed today. A Solomon Thomas the other way, an offensive foul. Barrels over Micah Kinsey and extended the forearm. Not the first foul in Georgia Southwestern in the second half. And it's third personal, so some foul trouble for the leader of this offense. Braves up 65 to 48. Sean Kirk, 11 points, a perfect five of five for the fields. Tyrell. Gives it to Ratliff, right wing inside to Sean. Sean bodied, pushed back, no whistle as he airballed the hook shot. Comes into the hands of Devin Higgs. Up ahead to Dial, leaves it for Dean, and Dean flushes it home with one Good hand. Morning, Dean. 15 point cushion for the Braves after the dunk by Jamari Dean. And the net is caught up in the rim. It'll be fixed by the assistant coach for Georgia Southwestern. Cole Clearman showing off the hops. Uh oh, alley oop to Kirk is intercepted. Read well by the defense. Higgs the other way, three on two, down the lane. No one stops him. Finger rolls it off the back rim and in. 65-52. Kirk gets it, left block, and he is held up. And they call him for a travel. It was absolutely wrapped around by Jamari Dean, who has a smirk on his face. And Sean Kirk. Well, that's a tough one if you're Kirk, if you're the Braves. 12.40 to go. 65-52, and a 30-second timeout will be stretched into a full timeout. We'll take a break here. 12.40 to go. After the timeout, Braves up 65-52 here. From the Storm Dome. When you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer, drop a big bow box on it. Whether you need an eight, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, at least they'll gnash their teeth on something delicious. It's bow time. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn, an ally working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner, recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health Nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. 
So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an eight, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now, when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles. Georgia Southwestern basketball out of the timeout. 12.35 to go, clock rolling here in the second half of play. Braves up 65-52, to a chance for their fourth straight game. As Press receives it to the right elbow, hands it off to Cameron. Double teamed, Cameron pulls it out. Right wing extended, off to Press, turns and hands to Hink. Lefty attack into the right, now gets up to the basket on the left side. He is tripped up as he flipped up the lane. He'll shoot two. We'll see who they call this on. And it's the second on Spencer Levi. Levi. Second personal four team foul. Four team foul the Braves in the second half. So Higgs will head to the stripe, hits the first. Now Carson Mounts has three fouls. Spencer Levi has two. This could be an interesting coaching decision. We'll see how Tony Jones and his staff manages the final 12-16 with those two. And we've seen them go with four guards out there right now. Their perimeter, Kirk in at the five. But they've liked to play today, and especially the last couple of games with two bigs in there. Levi finds Kinsey, and Kinsey traps right of the lane, and it's a foul on Devin Hinks. Two forward look, nothing new for this program. It's what they ran mostly in the last few seasons, but decided that they want to open things up. So it's typically been a four out, one in offense for UNCP this season. As Kirk gets it, short corner, hook shot is through for Sean Kirk, who continues his offensive success today, scoring in a bunch of different ways. As Dial comes the other way with it, Braves up 67-54, just under 12 to go in the second half. Dial spins on Kirk. Levi might have gotten a piece of that one as he put it off the glass, and he rips down the rebound after he was harassed in the paint. We'll take things the other way. Strong board by Levi, and it's a personal on Jamari Dean. Brings us to the under 12 meeting timeout, 67-54. UNC Pembroke, your Braves in front by 13. 11.38 to go in the ball game. This is UNCP men's basketball, the UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an eight, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now, when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time. David Struther will inbound it to Mike Kinsey. Braves going the length of the floor up by 13, 67 to 54. Still 11 and a half minutes to go in the ball game as Jambry Bullard receives the ball left wing. Back up top to Kinsey. Kinsey spins outside to Kirk. Back to Bullard, left wing, bounce pass inside, left block to Levi. Triple teamed out to Bullard. No one within 15 feet of him and he missed the three pointer short. But it's an offense rebound for Kinsey. Escapes a double, out to Struther. Another opportunity for Struther. Rolls out and rebounded by Dean under the basket. He's double teamed. 93 feet away for the basket, able to get out of it. Finding Higgs at midcourt. Higgs nearly taken away. Levi dives after the ball and he got it. Bounce pass to Kinsey, swatted away. Devin Higgs, the recovery up the floor and Abdul Dial 
caught it, but was poked loose by Sean Kirk. It's out of bounds, no foul. It'll stay as a side out for Georgia Southwestern. Scrappy play on both sides of the floor by the Braves. You have to love that about this team. They're up by 13 points here in the second half. Levi could have very easily just let that ball go. Kirk could have very easily just let Dial catch the basketball. But it's what makes this team so com so competitive in the Peach Belt Conference that they have been scrappy in addition to flashy. Thomas, right at the lane, penetrates, and he stepped in the baseline. Good defense, says Kinsey angled him right into the help defense of Sean Kirk, who might have bumped the side of his face into the stanchion under the basket. As he's wincing a bit, holding his left eye. Seems to be okay as Kinsey waltzes across midcourt, frames up 67 54, 10 and a half to go. Bounce pass to Struther, right wing, up top of Levi. Fakes left, goes right to Struther. One dribble into Kirk, right corner, short corner. Backs his way out, over to Kinsey, sliding down, left corner three for Kinsey. That's not his shot, and it's well short, rebounded by Solomon Thomas. Thomas hesitates, pulls it back, left wing, off to Dial, wide open in front of his bench, corner three, off back iron, rebounded with high hands to Levi. Outlets to Struther. Both teams have gone quiet after the media timeout, inside to Sean Kirk, and a rare miss today by Kirk as his floater Clipped the back iron and fell out. Tipped around, it'll stick with the Braves just in front of the Georgia Southwestern student section. Which has been relentless today. In both games, good crowd today, at least in terms of the students. Kirk gets the inbound. Left elbow turnaround hook. Comes up short. Bullard and Dean fighting for it. It's a held ball and it will stay with the Braves. Pardon me, possession arrow to the Hurricanes. Seven and one at home this season, but UNCP. It must be the eye in the storm here in the Storm Dome. So it hasn't been uh, all too difficult today for the Braves as Dean comes through with the runner over Kirk and converts 11 point game, 67-56. Kinsey picks up his dribble. High post to Kirk, whipped around to Buller. As it taints, thought about pulling the trigger. Instead goes inside to Kirk, whips it to Levi, and oh, he took off and was fouled on his way to the rack. He was going for the absolute throwdown. He'll shoot two. Sullivan Thomas did just enough to prevent himself from possibly being on SportsCenter tomorrow. Now Levi has to shoot free throws into the student section. A couple of students Trying to distract Levi, and it works. Missed the first free throw. As Aaron Combs yelling at his bench in his pink and orange Yeezys. Gotta love it. Second free throw for Levi into the student section. Front rim, backboard, and in. 12 point lead for the Braves, 68 56, 9.05 to go. As Thomas comes across half court. Bounce pass to Dean, left of the lane, goes to work on Pruitt, weaving his way inside, double comes, kick out to Dio, left wing, thought about the three. Steps into a left corner two, missed it, swatted inside by Levi on the putback attempt. As Kinsey pushes it the other way, kick out to Bullard. Bullard picks up his dribble, high post, leaves it for Kinsey. Bounce pass Levi, up top Pruitt, deep three, back iron, and a loose ball foul will keep it that way. Solomon Thomas in disbelief. If this is on him, that's his fourth. And it is. 8.34 to go, Solomon Thomas has four fouls. 15 points, two boards, an assist, three and three from distance for Thomas. Will now likely sit out for some extended gameplay. Devin Higgs checks in for him, and Kinsey will throw it in. Find Struther left corner, threw it up top. Bounce pass intended for Levi, taken away by Cameron. Three and one, threading the needle to Dial Lane. A great pass by the big man, Jamari Dean. It's just a 10 point ball game, 8.25 to go. And Tony Jones will take a timeout. Braves with two more timeouts. 
And we'll take a quick break here with him. This is UNCP Men's Basketball and UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. When you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer, drop a big bow box on it. Whether you need an eight, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, at least they'll gnash their teeth on something delicious. It's bow time. Georgia Southwestern hanging in there against UNCP. Braves hit it 68 to 58, 825 to go. As Pruitt inbounds it to Kinsey. Tony Jones has left his backups in, or at least some of them for extended time today. Now it's four starters and Micah Kinsey. Bounce pass to Pruitt, right block, spins inside, off glass and in. Akia Pruitt. Hey, we needed a bucket, go to Pruitt. Gets the job done inside, and the Braves up by 12, up to 70 points. As Dial comes right of the lane, spins inside now at the restricted circle, off glass, and toilet bowls in. Abdul Dial picking things up a bit after scoring the first seven points of the game for the Canes. Bounce worked around the arc. Kirk, left elbow jumper. He just doesn't miss from there. That's his spot. 72 to 60, under eight minutes to go in the ball game. Right corner, Cameron. Jab step out to Dial, back to Cameron. Still in the right corner on the GSW logo. Leaves it for Dial, comes around the arc, gets the switch, Pruitt on him as Cameron works to attack. Kick out to Dial, left corner. Head fake, now drives right from the left side, picks up his dribble in the lane, up and under on Pruitt. Rebound, ripped down by Carson Mounts on the missed lane. Outlets it to Kinsey, to Tyrell Kirk. Kirk up and under, no, the follow laid in by Akia Pruitt. His second stick back in the game. His first was the record-breaking 914th career rebound for Akia Pruitt, who now sits all alone in first place on the PBC career rebounding leaderboard. Dean between the circles, checks it out to Press, who lost it momentarily, into the hands of Dial. Leaning back three for the right wing, off to the left, and Kirk speeding ahead with the rebound. Kirk sidestepping through the lane, plowing ahead, and he is fouled. They'll say that Press was in the restricted area. Now they'll call it actually on Jalen Cameron, who got him in the arm. Only question now is if there'll be two shots. But before that, media timeout, 6.31 to go. 74-60, your brains in front here in the second half. This is UNCP Men's Basketball, UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. It's officially the holidays, and you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer. So drop a big bow box on your pigskin powwow, because whether you need an eight, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixins, and tea, nothing helps swallow tears of defeat like swallowing a bunch of fried chicken first. Now when it comes to defending your lucky recliner, that's all you. Bojangles, it's bow time.
Tyrell Kirk will shoot two free throws. Braves up 74 to 60, 631 remaining. In the second half of action, UNCP looks to win its second straight road game, fourth straight overall as they continue the climb to the top of the conference standings. Currently just a game back of USC Aiken, who is currently losing to Lander. Braves, of course, just beat USC Aiken, so win today and a USC Aiken loss. We'll put UNCP in first place to the Peach Belt. Both free throws good, 76-60. Right wing, it's Josh Press for the Canes. Off to Cameron to the right corner, worked around the perimeter, ends up with the hands of Devin Higgs. Left wing, tried to entry feed it down low, knocked away but back into his hands. Off to Dial, attacking left wing, flips it up. Did that go in? Yes! He just kind of hoisted it from his waist and got a shooter's touch to put it in. 76-62. Starting five in for the Braves. Struther right wing attacking Jura right. Up top to Kirk, curling off a down screen. Penetrates, floater. Defense got a piece of it, and it's a held ball underneath. Possession arrow will keep it right here with the Braves. 12 seconds on the shot clock. 5.42 to go in the ball game. Tyrell Kirk will inbound. Finds Pruitt, right elbow, inside to Mounts. Mounts, tough floater, doesn't fall. Rebounds by Devin Higgs. Higgs on left wing, Dial with Mounts on him. This is a matchup Dial likes, looking for space. Step back, triple, cash. And we have an 11 point ball game. 76 to 65, 515 remains. Clock rolling as Pruitt. Trying to go back door to Tyrell Kirk. Instead, high post to Mounts. Dribbles once, off to Struther. Gets the switch. Struther with Higgs on him. Ratliff floats inside to Mounts. Mounts, tough pass intended for Pruitt. Deflected by both Dean and Higgs. And it's still Braves ball, 11 seconds to go. Kirk inbounding. Braves out of a stack formation. Back to Struther. Eight seconds to get a shot off. Calls for a double screen to the high post. Struther looks to surge ahead and said picks up his dribble. Out to Pruitt, one to shoot. Kirk lets it fly. Right wing three as the shot clock expires. Buries it. Tyrell with the triple. And he is now four for four from beyond the arc. Braves up 79-65 with the pass intercepted by Pruitt. Up ahead to Struther. Step back, left corner, wide open. David Struther rims out, mounts, cleaning up the offensive glass, and then had it knocked off of him. It'll be Hurricane basketball. Sometimes he could maybe get a little too wide open, and that could have been the case with David Struther. Dial sprints, then slows up the right sideline with Ratliff on him. Brave switch, now Kirk on him. Ratliff checking. Higgs, who drives down the right baseline, and as he spun inside, Spencer Levi got a piece of it. Levi in for Carson Mount. So that's how Coach Jones and the staff managing the foul trouble of Mount. Gave him a couple minutes. Now going to give him a little bit, bit of a breather. And he has three fouls. Now as does Curtin Ratliff. First free throw. Swirls out for Devin Higgs. 54% free throw shooter. Made his first start a couple of games ago. That's down to second. 79 to 66 Braves. That's Tyrell Kirk wanted to show offensively. Finds Pruitt, high post. And a kickball violation called on Higgs as Pruitt tried to knife it inside to Levi. Bounce pass to Struther. Comes high post. Just inside the timeline, left wing to Pruitt. Gives it back to Struther. Pruitt tried the alley oop on the down screen. Defense had it sniffed out. Struther rolls right with it. Down to Pruitt. Right block. Out to Ratliff. Lets it go way downtown. Rolls out. Tipped around underneath. Into the hands of Ratliff. Followed his own shot. Braves up 
Rams can continue to run some clock up 79 to 66. Just over three and a half to go. This clock now reaches 3.30. Kick out to Kirk. Pull up jumper, right elbow, you bet. Tyrell pumps his chest. And number 10 is feeling it once again. He put up 33 a couple games ago against Lander. Not quite there right now as he's approaching 20. 81 66 Braves. Cameron right elbow. Picks up his dribble. Kick out to Higgs, right corner. With Ratliff guarding him tightly. Feeds it across the court to Dial. Step back over Struther. Clanked up the back iron. Too strong. Rebounded by Tyrell Kirk. Kirk comes across midcourt. And the students here silent as Kirk is fouled. And as he came across the left side of the floor and put up a banker, he'll shoot two. Tyrell Kirk now 22 points. That a game high. Four Braves and double figures. And we head to the under four media timeout. UNCP looking to hang on up 81 to 66 here at the Storm Dome. This is UNC Pembroke Men's Hoops on the UNCP Sports Network. When you've got a house full of unstable football fans who won't take hungry for an answer, drop a big bow box on it. Whether you need an eight, 12, or 20 piece with biscuits, fixings, and tea, at least they'll gnash their teeth on something delicious. It's bow time. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn. An ally, working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner, recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. pair of free throws for Tyrell Kirk. 2.47 to go, a game high 22 points for the UNCP guard as he hits the front end of the two shots. He is just such a dynamic player and there are some games where he struggles a bit only had four points against Young Harris recently but you saw that 33 point game as he hits the second. Braves up by 17, Press lost it right inside midcourt and a timeout is called to maintain possession by Aaron Combs and back to Tyrell Kirk not just a scorer good defender can rebound the ball well but his assist to turnover ratio it's 2.3 assists per every turnover that is really good numbers we want to see about around two or so and not always the primary ball handler for this team, but they'll go stretches where they'll put Struther off ball, Ratliff off ball, and Kirk will be the floor general. We've seen that a whole lot today. He just does such a good job. He's now scored in double figures in four straight games. Both Kirk brothers with 35 combined points. They combined 14 of 20 from the field. Perfect five of five from beyond the arc. Five on the floor for the Braves with 2.40 to go. It's Struther, Ratliff, Pruitt, Kirk, and Levi. Side out from the near side, attacking to our left for the Canes as Dean runs it in and hits the tough runner. Holding his hamstring now, a little slow to get back defensively. Murray Dean, 19 points. They double team off the screen. Ratliff receives it, right corner from Struther. Braves will run some clock, double comes. Here comes the trap defense. Again over to Struther, left wing. Cross court to Ratliff, gave a shot fake, goes baseline, floater, and an offensive foul. Jalen Cameron at positioning underneath. And the Cape Fear Community College transfer takes the charge. Braves still up 83-68. Across midcourt comes Higgs. Higgs up left wing to Dean. Dean tries to get cooking, and he hits it. 
Mid-range jumper over the outstretched arms of Akia Pruitt. Left elbow extended, down to a 13-point Braves lead. Kirk bounce pass to Struther. Struther weaving through, kick out to Ratliff, left wing up top to Kirk. Can he stay perfect from deep? Yes, he can! Five for five from beyond the arc for Tyrell Kirk. Response from Dean, clanked off the back iron and Ratliff elevates for the rebound. 25 for Tyrell. Pruitt right corner, double teams. Heaves it across the court into the hands of Ratliff and he will hold it. Now goes baseline, knocked away from behind. Numbers, his press outlets ahead to Dial. Sidestepping, lefty lay-in, rims out lead by the board. And the Braves will hang on here for their fourth straight victory. Up 86 to 70, 55 seconds to go. Strother weaving his way through the double teams. Bounce pass to Ratliff. Ratliff, two-handed slam. 88 to 70, 45 seconds to go. UNCP will match its longest winning streak of the season as they will pick up its fourth straight win. Kick out to Press, now up top, Higgs. Higgs attacking, blocked by Sean Kirk, by Tyrell Kirk. 30 seconds to go, leaning back, a tough shot. Over the hands of Levi, Abdul Dial hit it, and he is on the ground, holding his calf. Braves can hold it. Shot clock unplugged, 15 seconds to go, and that will do it. Braves make the nearly seven hour drive down to America's Georgia. Take care of business once again. They win their seventh straight against the Hurricanes as Darrell Kirk fittingly holds the basketball to wind down the clock. Buzzer sounds and we're all wrapped up here. Five straight wins for the Braves here at the Storm Dome. This hasn't been much of a house of horrors for UNCP. Teams entering today have been just one and seven here at the Storm Dome, but no issues for the Braves. 88 to 72 the final as UNCP advances to 14 and four in the season and seven and two in conference play. As they, pending the results of the USC Aiken Lander game, can now move in to first place, at least tied for first place, if Lander takes down Aiken. That game tied 61 61 with 7 41 remaining in the ball game. How about Tyrell Kirk finishing with 27 points? Another enormous offensive game for Kirk. Really in a double double as well. Seven boards for him. 9 13 from the field, 5 5 from deep. Perfect four for four from the free throw line. Seven boards, two assists. His brother Sean, second of the team in scoring with 13 in the scorer's column. Six of eight from the field. He hit his lone three-point attempt as well. Five Braves in double figures. Besides those two who combined for 40, Akia Pruitt had 12 and 10. A double-double for Pruitt. As earlier in this game, now surpassed Isaac Thomas. And first place of the Peach Belt career rebounding list. So congratulations to Akia with his double-double, getting the job done. Needed five to get to 914, ended up with 10. So he's sitting at 919, and still plenty of games left to go for the Braves for him to add to that record. Carson Mounts also had 10. Jordan Ratliff chipped in 10 as well, aided by that last-minute dunk that he had. So the Braves... Take down Georgia Southwester, 88 to 72. Shot 50% from the field, 11 to 24 from distance. Now, other than that, really, numbers, uh, biggest discrepancy was certainly rebounding. The Braves have been dominant on the glass in Peach Belt Conference play. They were plus 12 in offensive rebounds today, plus 16 in second chance points, plus 15 in bench points. But again, the total rebounding, 19 offensive board, 22 defensive boards. Add that up, if my math is correct, that's 41 rebounds to Georgia Southwestern's just 22. So an enormous margin there. The Braves have been plus 12.3 rebounds uh, per game in their previous nine Peach Belt Conference games. That number will only increase after being plus 19 today against an undersized Georgia Southwestern squad. UNCP gets the job done, 88-72, the final. 
We will be back with Braves basketball on Wednesday. It's the blackout games. The women's side tips at 5.30. The men at 7.30. Looking forward to having all of you out there. A big crowd on hand to create a tough atmosphere for the rival Patriots just 45 minutes south of Pembroke. If you can't get to the game, make sure to check us out on our YouTube page. We'll have the live broadcast for you as always. And of course, make sure to follow us on all of our social media at UNCP underscore sports on both Twitter and Instagram. Like us on Facebook, UNCP Athletics. And if you're listening to this, you're listening on our YouTube page, make sure to subscribe, UNCP Braves. For all of us here in the UNCP Sports Network, signing off from the Storm Dome, I'm John Gross. A big thank you for joining us and making us a part of your Saturday afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Braves take down Georgia Southwestern. The men's side 88-72 after the women fell in a heartbreaking loss earlier today. This has been a production of UNCP Basketball Live on the UNCP Sports Network. We will talk to you all on Wednesday. So long.